Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to a glorious Dun Donald Links. Yes, the Trilby Tour is back for 2023. We've made the trip up to Ayrshire. Now, of course, nothing would be complete if we didn't have Ashley Pheasant from Darwin Escapes with us as well. Ashley, you must be so excited for this. Very excited, yeah. We're on to our 2023 schedule now. First event here at Dun Donald today. See how many... Uh... Well, we've got some quality players playing. I think we've got from plus two handicap through to mid-20s. Um, five qualifying from Division One, five from Division Two, five ladies. Uh, hopefully getting back through to the grand final in September. Of course, back here as well for that grand final. That's going to be a cracker. Uh, let's actually touch on the format. Obviously, it's stable for 95% of handicap. But there's three divisions as well. Talk us through those. So three divisions we've got from, well, plus handicap through to 14 then 15 through to the mid-20s, and the ladies are in one division, as you say, single, Stableford. Now, what sort of golf are we expecting today here at Dundonalds? You know uh, you know the place very well. Uh, it's an exciting place to come play, isn't it? But it uh, can be tricky. It can be tricky, yeah. I saw a couple of the guys yesterday who were doing the practice rounds. Um, it's quite fiery out there. Rough's growing up. We've got final up and qualifying at the end of the month and straight into women's Scottish. So they're going to have a tough test today. Sun's coming out as we speak. Yeah. Wind looks light. So, you know. Who knows, though? We are on the west coast of Scotland. Anything can happen, right? <laughs> Anything can happen, yeah. When I was driving up yesterday, the forecast wasn't great, but we've been lucky so far, so hopefully it continues. I was about four hours behind you on the M6, and we just kept seeing these massive signs saying heavy rain forecast, so be careful, but no chance of that, is there? No chance, no. They're going to get lucky. I can see them over there on the putting green now yeah. in the shorts. Everybody looks in high spirit, so let's hope the, uh, let's hope the golf backs it up. Anybody's watching this right now and looking at it thinking, well, I want to get involved with this because it looks fantastic. How do they do that? How do they get in touch with you? So if they go on trilbitour.co.uk, um, you can see all the information on this year's events on there. Into July, we've got our Championship of Yorkshire at Killick Percy. Yep. And then we move the following week straight down to our Oxfordshire venue, which is the Springs. So go on there. All the details are on there and you can sign up. A couple of spaces left for Springs and also KP's filling up rapid so any players so uh, you give us a bit of a tip on who, who you're fancying today um we've got paul milet playing who won here last year he's back in the field as is johnny wallace who i know has been getting a sneaky bit of practice in um and then a couple of girls we've got from stephen gallagher foundation and sterling university so they're my early picks we'll see how the fair see if they can handle the pressure See if they can handle the pressure. Actually, you've got, you're a busy man, so I'm going to let you crack on. But thanks so much for talking Cheers. to us. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, if you do want to find out more about the Trilby Tour, uh, you can visit trilbytour.co.uk. Or you can just click the link in the body of this broadcast. That's how easy it is. We're just going to turn around, actually, and uh, get a little bit of a look at the action here. You can see the players are starting to warm up. The first group out go at 10.20. You're going to see all of those tee shots as it happens live. That will be Jake Johnston, Matthew Struthers, and Andrew Hen there. Uh, Jake plays out the Royal Burgess. He's uh, plus one actually, a handicap uh, at 95% for the Stableford competition today. It promises to be an absolute cracker. Let's just walk down a little bit, see if we can grab a word with one or two of the players, shall we? Because we've still got about 10 minutes or so before we get the action underway here. We must say a big thank you to our partners as well. Glenn Muir, Motor Caddy and Sunderland of Scotland. You're going to be uh, seeing some of their stuff throughout the course of the day as well. And the live chat is open. If you want to have your say, you want to get in touch with us, please do. Live Sport Now on YouTube is the place to do it. We would love to hear from you. Uh, a couple of the players, I think, over here uh, trying to uh, avoid our gaze, but we don't care about that. Look at this gentleman walking across the green. That's a fine haircut indeed as well, isn't it? Uh, let's just go up and uh, have a quick chat over here, shall we, too, and see how the players are, are gearing up. Gentlemen, we're just going to come over and have a quick chat if we can. Uh, what, what's... what's uh, Jack? Oh, Jack, you're out first. No, no not, you're not. not oh, sorry, where is... <laughs> Oh, Jay, Jay, come over, come over. Sorry, guys, I, uh, it's difficult because we don't know. We've never met before, have we, Jake? Uh, how are you feeling uh, this morning ahead of this one? Because you guys, you're out first, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It looks like a pretty good uh, good day. Um, played the course a few times, so yeah. Got my two caddies as well. So I'm... Two, well, I, I thought this man was it was you, actually. So <laughs> That's going to be a benefit, though, having the expertise of these two gentlemen here. Definitely, yeah. I uh, just feel like reading parts and stuff like that and an extra opinion. Um, so, yeah. You play out of Royal Burgess, what's yeah. it like there? Good, yeah, it's actually good uh, just now in the summer. Um, greens are getting good. Um, winter, not so great, but um, it's good just now, so yeah. 
You're clearly only a young man. I won't ask how old, uh, of course, but uh, what's, where do you want to go in the game of golf? What's a long-term goal for you? Um, so this is my last year at juniors this year. Um, so after this, I'm going to go out to the States for, for uni. Um, just looking forward to that. So I've got a gap year and then going out in 2024. Um, so, yeah, some good weather and some golf. So. Bring these boys with you. <laughs> yeah. Jake, version two. <laughs> uh, best of luck. We will see you at the first as well, uh, won't we? Uh, let's just have a quick chat with Caddy as well. Uh, have you caddied for him before? I have, yeah. Only in small competitions, though, like the Burgess Club champs and stuff. But we're undefeated so far. We've I'm, never lost. Under, I mean, he's never lost with me carrying his club. Really? So, so yeah. No pressure then so today, yeah, yeah. but you're confident in his ability, right? I am, yeah. With, with me reading the putts for him, I feel like, I feel like we could... What you're saying, like he can't read putts, but... <laughs> well, I've got, the, I've got the expert opinion, but I feel like together we can cause some damage and hopefully hopefully do quite well. Talk us through the first here, then, at Dundonald. Obviously, par four to get things underway. What, what's the plan plan of action for, Honestly, uh, for your boy? Just, no bogey start. Just get off to, off to a strong... Any mediocre start will be good, and then carry momentum into the end of the round and hopefully just have a just have a good day and just enjoy it. You certainly will. Thanks for talking to us. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, let's uh, just keep moving around, shall we? We've got uh, another gentleman over here. Let's go have a quick word with him and see how he's feeling as well. You have to forgive us. Normally when we do the tour events, we know a lot of the players, but we've never met any of these players. And uh, this is... Uh, oh, Matthew Strasburg. I think, uh, Matthew, you're out first as well. Uh, can I say, what, what, can what a nice T-shirt as well that is. Uh, yeah. sharp. <laughs> How are you feeling today ahead of this one? Ah, I'm looking forward to it. Should, yeah. I, should be actually a bit of an experience. So uh, I'll tr find trouble. You'll find <laughs> trouble. Uh, I don't believe. I don't believe that at all. Uh, where, where's your home club? Do you have uh, Guruk? Guruk Golf Club. Uh, yeah, so I took up golf about four years ago, and I find myself in places that I never thought I'd be before. <laughs> Bushes that. Didn't normally <laughs> exist in a golf course, I'll be there. Yeah, when you looked earlier, it wasn't there, but suddenly it just no, magically just appears. That's, that's the beauty of the game, though, isn't it, right? That's uh, I've got a tracking device for trouble, so I'm uh, looking forward to it. How good is it to be playing on a Trilby Tour? Uh, it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I can see in your face, yeah. Probably last week saw me coming over, I was like, oh, for God's sake, no, not him. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty much, uh, that's exactly it. Well, we're going to see you tee off anyway, so no pressure. Thanks for uh, talking to us, right, really, really do buddy. appreciate it. Let's go back down to the first, shall we, because uh, the players are starting to make their way down as well. We just heard from Jake Johnston, uh, two Jake Johnstons, actually, I can assure you. Uh, there is only one, the chap with the bucket hat on. Uh, Matthew Shrove is just there to our right. just been talking to him and Andrew Hendry in this group as well. They'll uh, pop their names up on screen for you. Can see, you can see their handicaps as well. Uh, so you can see what they're playing to today. It's a Stableford competition, of course. Uh, these players playing for a chance to come back to Dundonald in September and take part in that grand final as well. What a beautiful opening hole we've got here at Dundonald's. It really, really is an absolute stunner. Par four to get underway. And uh, we'll go in and have a little listen. In fact, whilst we're making our way down, let's just uh, pop the tour schedule on screen for you so you can see where else we're going with the Trilby Tour in 2023. As we said, we're off to uh, KP in Yorkshire. Two events next month, actually, uh, just a week apart. KP, and of course, we've got the Oxfordshire Springs before coming back here in September. So we are about to get things underway, but that's the schedule on your screen right now. Do uh, get your comments in as well. We'd love to hear from you throughout the course of the day. It's a real treat to be here. Trilby Tour live at Dundonald Links. It's the Championship of Ayrshire. There we go. Uh, most importantly, enjoy your day. Absolutely. That's uh, what it is all about, isn't it? Uh, actually, just very quickly, actually, I know we've already spoken, but uh, a very quick way to talk about enjoying the day, and that's what it's about as well, isn't it? But they do still want to compete at the sharp end, don't they? Yeah, I've, I've just seen you interviewing a few people, and I think they're already starting to get a little bit nervous when they get near the first. They're all smiles. It's probably just seeing the camera, I think. Nervous, <laughs> nervous smiles, I think. Yeah, so we'll see if they can handle it when they get on the first. Um, get off to a good start, and hopefully they can carry it on. I mean, the Stableford format gives you a chance, doesn't it? As we know, stroke play, if you have a bad hole, it can really damage your round. Stableford, you can get away with blobbing a few, can't you? You can, yeah, and I'm sure there will be a few blobs out there today, but there's plenty of chances to get a few back. Um, I think today they've got to get off to a nice steady start. First four holes are quite tough. Then they get into the back nine, 11, 12, 13. They can try and pick a few up there. Uh, there's a few other things going on as well. If I believe there's a couple of nearest the pins going on too. Yeah, there's nearest the pin on hole six and hole eleven with some great prizes from Motor Caddy, uh, short par threes. But 
even though they're short, they are tough. I think wind's getting up a little bit now, so 11 will be playing crosswind and 6 will be playing down. Ash, thank you so much. Uh, we'll probably catch up with you throughout the day as well. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, we are about to get underway. A few practice swings. Let's pop the camera back on the players, shall we, uh, as they are about to get underway. Yes, the Trilby Tour in 2023, about to tee off your team on your first group, 10-20 group. Uh, Jake Johnston for Royal Burgess, Matthew Struthers and Andrew Hendry. Jake Johnston uh, playing uh, plus one. Wow, he's going to be a good player. Struthers, uh, a 20 handicap, and Andrew Hendry plus two. So we're in for some incredibly, incredibly good golf. Just a quick reminder to play at 95% of club handicap. And it is a Stableford competition. One day only though. But as Ash just said, the wind has started to pick up. Uh, what a glorious day it was yesterday. Here is Jake Johnston now. He's got the big stick in hand. It's the, it's the way to go, isn't it? It really is. We'll, uh, I'm going to jump in. There you go. Uh, I'm just going to jump in. I don't think we've spoken to Andrew yet as well. Uh, how are we feeling? We were nervous today, actually. Yeah. Um, pretty excited as well. Though. Was it, what does it feel like to be playing on a Trilby Tour team off here with all of this going on? It's quite, it's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, it feels pretty awesome, to be honest. Uh, can't wait to go out and just play golf out there and just be happy with my caddy over there, Dylan. I've got to say, I said as you were walking across, that's the coolest haircut I've ever seen. Thank you. It's, uh, it's took a long time to grow, but it's it's here. How's your boy going to do today? Yeah, he's, he'll do good. Yeah. He'll do good. He just keeps his emotions good. He'll be he'll be a couple under. But you're you're the calming influence here. Yeah, you're the one who's going to keep him, keep this young man just chill out, relax. Yeah. Stable foot as well. It does give you a chance. You know, you, you can maybe take a few risks. Is that going to be a bit of a plan? Certainly. Yeah, I'll be taking a few risks on the golf course today. Um, I better let you go. I think you go. Thanks for talking to us, guys. We really appreciate it. Good luck out there as well. We are about to get underway. Uh, the Trilby Tour. Here we go. Your first group out. 16 groups in total. We, uh, the aim today is to give at least everybody at least one shot on the camera. But uh, some will get more. This is the 10:20 time. And first on the tee from Royal Burgess, Jake Johnston. Too sure where it goes, we might have a provisional being played here, but uh, we are now underway for the Trilby Tour 2023. That's uh, Jake Johnston Deg. And on the tee from Garrick, Matthew Struthers. And here comes Matthew Struthers now. Again, big stick in hand. We go open fairway bunker on the left, bunker on the right, one on the right, quite a way down. Par four to begin with. We can maybe put the stats on screen for you so you can see the whole stats. Oh, nice. On the tee from Gollin, Andrew Hendry. And here's Andrew Hendry. Okay, so Jake Johnson is going to play a provisional here. Very well, guys. 
Thank you. Right, there we go. Uh, the first few tee shots have taken place. We are now officially underway here at Dundonald Links. It's the uh, Championship of Ayrshire for the Trilby Tour 2023. It's going to be such a good day. Uh, here's what's going to happen with the coverage throughout the course of the day as well. We're, we're live now at the first. We're going to uh, probably follow the next group actually down to give you a little look at Dundonald Licks here. Work our way down to the first, maybe go to the second, follow a couple of groups. It's not going to be one continuous long broadcast. We are going to cut them up into certain features for you. The next feature, we're going to be heading uh, over to one of the nearest the pinholes to see if anybody can scoop some prizes from Motor Caddy. Keep on talking to the players as well. So it's going to be bite-sized content, easily digestible for you throughout the course of the day. Right across the Trilby Tour social media channels as well. Don't forget, if you do want to find out more about the Trilby Tour, do click the link in the body of this broadcast. It takes you straight through to the website as well. Uh, and if you want to do a bit of shopping with Glenn Mill, you can. There's a link in the top right-hand side of your screen right now. Give that a scan. It'll take you straight through to Glenn Mill. In fact, we are going to hear from our partners, Glenn Muir. Now, take a quick peek at their autumn winter range for 2023. Roll VT. Right, everybody, here we are back for your 10.30 tea time. We are going to follow this group down as well. Uh, we've got Scott Newman in it, uh, Eva Woodward and Megan Fallon. I wonder if we can go have a quick chat. I'm just trying to uh, take a quick look and see who is who, I think. And it really helps because we do have the caddies, have the players' names on. So uh, this is Megan. <laughs> Megan, how are we feeling today ahead of this? Uh, yeah, I'm excited. How well do you know Dundonald Link? Um, I've played it a couple of weeks ago okay. in an event yeah. here, so I've played it quite recently, which is good. The first, are you confident down here? What are yeah. we going? What are we going with? Uh, driver, definitely. It's got, it's got to be. Go big or go home. This actually, Megan, we're going to enjoy watching that. Thank you. Best of luck. I'll let you crack on. We got to Eva here as well. Eva, I know you're trying to avoid me, yeah. weren't you? Uh, but <laughs> please, don't, I'm really nice, honestly. I promise. How does it feel to be here at Dundonald playing the Trilby Tour? Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice course, so it should be good. Have you played it before? Uh, yeah, I have a couple of weeks ago when Megan played it. So. Oh, you played together? Oh, you? Yeah, same competition, so oh, yeah, it was good. Excellent. And uh, what's the game plan today? Is it just, just go for it? It's yeah, one round, isn't it? Just hope for the best. You can't, so. you can't be taking it easy. Yeah, exactly. Just hope for the best and hope it'll go as well. You only take for the best. You're, yeah. you're a good player. Uh, let's uh, keep moving on as well. Uh, right. How are we feeling today? Well, I'm Megan's dad, so... Uh, that's a, nervous? It's very nervous watching her. Lots of my grey hairs. I had dark hair at the beginning. Why? Hang on. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's why hat's on then. Yeah, I had dark hair at the beginning. You still a lot of hair, though, eh? Yeah, right, that's my bad. Yeah. 
Then, no, that's the first thing I've been here, so I'm looking forward to what's it. Like, what's it like being a golf dad? It's a lot of mileage, uh, but a lot of support, yeah, though, and it's all worth it. Yeah, it's, oh, it's totally worth it. It's great seeing uh, just Megan in or the girls and that playing the boys and the different tours. Uh, it's great. It's, it's all all very encouraging, and I wish I, wish I, wish I'd done it when I was younger, but... <laughs> is, is there a long-term plan in place um, for Megan, or is it just, look, just go out and enjoy golf and let's just see where it goes? I think enjoy the golf, um, and then if anything comes along, great, you know, the opportunities. I think probably more opportunities now for the kids if they want to broaden the horizons. I don't know. On so, these shores right across from the States, it's just uh, yeah. the opportunities are there. But. Seems to be the way to go, doesn't it? But uh, Megan's not letting you on the bag today, is that? No, our good friend, uh, Evie, <laughs> who's... Our sunglasses are quite large, so I think... Uh, They're huge, actually, aren't they? Oh, they are, so... <laughs> I think just... I don't know. On telly, I don't know. Nah, it's... Uh, but she's... Um, so she She says she knows nothing about golf, which... I could probably argue the case m- myself as well, but... Um, anyway, she's... She's going to caddy today and uh, hopefully enjoy it. Well, I hope you enjoy it as well. We, well. we often forget about the parents, don't we, as well? And, you know, a lot of pressure on the players. But, you know, I'm a parent myself and, you know, yeah. pressure's pressure, isn't it? For, for, you want your kid to do well. And, uh, oh, yeah, that, yeah, definitely. That's, uh, and playing, playing these events, um, it's very, you know, it's just prestigious golf courses and it's, it can be quite daunting. But these kids seem to just take it in their stride and, you know, they're all smiling. Well, at the moment, so. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, they will be at the end of the day. Right. I'll see you in a clubhouse later. Yeah. We'll uh, no doubt I'll have a quick. Drink. We've got Scott over here as well. He's just getting his yardages in place. And uh, Scott, it looks like we're going to go a slightly different route to what we've seen with a few others in the first group. You're going to go long iron, are we? Uh, just keep it in, keep it in play. Hopefully. How are you feeling this morning? I feel feeling all right. Good. I've got to say, we've both got the memo, don't we? Nice shirt there. Oh, uh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to let you crack on. It's almost time for you guys to get going. Thanks for talking right. to us. Best of luck out there as well. Uh, team two about to get underway. Your 10 30 tea time. Scott Newman, Eva Wood, Megan Fallon about to get the sales underway here. Uh, and it's going to be Scott Newman uh, going for the whites. Of course, the ladies will be playing from the red tees here at the first. This is the 10 30 tea off time today. And first on the tee from Royal Troon, Scott Newman. So Scott Newman from Royal Troon. 420 yard par four for the chaps today. 321 for the ladies. Nice. Straight down the middle. Shot, Scott. Oh, lovely. Splits the fairway. Scott Newman with a cracker. I'm all right. Uh, I might be back later for the sun cream. I was going to grab the buggy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put back later. Oh, we'll, uh... Right, hopefully uh, you've still got my audio there. Uh, a little big thank you to Leon, our cameraman, who's walking the course with you right now. I have got a buggy, Leon, I promise you. Uh, do keep your comments coming in as well. We do want to hear from you. I hope you're enjoying the live coverage of the Trilby Tour. Uh, we're live on the course as well, so we will probably get people's names wrong and things like that. But uh, it's all fun. It's a, a great atmosphere here at Dundonald Links. We are on the west coast of Scotland. It's the Championship of Ayrshire, the Trilby Tour live and exclusive for you across the Trilby Tour social media network and, of course, ours as well. We are live sport now. If you're watching at YouTube, please do hit subscribe as well because we will be bringing you all of the action from the Trilby Tour in 2023 from KP in Yorkshire and Oxford Springs later in the season as well. Uh, so here we go. The ladies 
about to get underway here as well and it's going to be uh, Megan Fallon who's going to go first proud dad we've just spoken to he's uh, walked off to the right side and uh, Megan did say she's just going to go for this today driver in hand down there on the right but she's safe good shot indeed uh, Eva up next par 4 to start here at Dundonald 321 yards it's playing for the ladies Oh, beautiful. Actually, just before you disappear, we've just seen three cracking tee shots there, haven't we? Unbelievable, yeah. The two, uh, two girls have absolutely nailed it straight down the middle, so they've set themselves up for a nice start. Um, saw a Scott go with a long iron as well. Basically yeah, split the fairway. Beautiful, wasn't it? Obviously, his uh, experience from Royal Troon coming in, little iron off the first, low stinger, straight up towards the trap on the left. Good effort. Fantastic. Right, we are going to head down the first here and follow this group down whilst uh, I grab Leon. Uh, don't forget, if you do want to find out more about the Truby Tour, there is a link in the body of this broadcast. Give it a click. And whilst we head down there, let's hear from one of our partners. We wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for our partners, so we can say a huge thank you to them. Uh, so let's hear a little bit from Motor Caddy, Rob E.T. Right, there we go. That was Motor Caddy. Just a, a little bit of a, a gap whilst we wait. Let's go have a quick chat with uh, Scott's caddy, shall we, whilst uh, we're just walking down. And uh, I'm sure, uh, sure you won't mind me just jumping in and having a quick chat, will you? We'll let Scott uh, focus on his next shot, but uh, a great start for him. Lovely tee shot, wasn't it? Oh, she's... Absolutely split the fairway there, didn't he? You had a cracker there, didn't you, Scott? Hey? A man, a few words. Yeah, but I don't blame you. I don't blame you. When you when you do tee shots like that, it speaks for itself. Oh, it? exactly. Let the, let the golf do the talking. What's going through your head now? Just on the green, get two pots and then just just move on. Really, try to get a four. Fantastic. We'll let you guys go. Thank you very much. Green is clear, uh, and we're going to watch Scott Newman with his second at the par four first at Dundonald Links here. Second group out for the Trilby Tour 2023. Beauty of being live is uh, we do catch people off guard a little bit, so uh, apologies to uh, certain people. But, uh, that's the beauty of being live. We are walking the course right by the place. There's no studios with us. We're on the course. Scott Newman. Pitched it right, but is it going to come round? Does slope off to the right, get the kick, 
It's on that lower tier of the green. Lovely stuff. And he's going to have a putt there for birdie. Going to move over to the right. I'll grab the buggy. Pull in. But he's on the green. He's on the lower tier. It sort of split the first green here. So he's going to have a, a tricky uphill putt. But it's going to give him a chance. And of course this is Stableford. So he's uh, in for some early points here. And I'm just going to pick Leon up as well. Do you want to, do you want to hop in, Leon? Or are you happy? Are you happy walking? Ah, oh. it is. He's, he's cameraman Leon is saying he needs to get his. It, it's ten thousand, not eight thousand steps. It's ten thousand steps you need to get. So he needs to get eight thousand. It's ten. You'll probably do about twenty thousand, so I shouldn't worry about it. <laughs> right, we're moving down. We've got uh, Eva on the left here. I didn't see where Megan's ball landed. Great shot by Scott Newman. He's just on that lower tier of the green. So he's going to have a, a tricky uphill putt for birdie, but with the Stableford, he's uh, on for some points. So here is Eva. We would normally maybe go talk to the caddies, but I think uh, Eva's sort of playing this one by herself. It might be uh, a day out with a mate. These players trying to earn their place at the championship finale back here at Dundonald in September. Here is Eva, second shot at the par four first. It's a bit left, there is danger there. Oh, it's got a nasty bounce. It does slope off to the left. I think it might have kicked into that bunker. Megan over on the right, she is in this, is she? Is she in the bunker? A difficult second shot for Megan Fallon here. There's not much he could do. It was very close to the wall as well, but she's managed to get it out. Probably, uh, probably be a blob hole for me if I put it in there. But we can still get away with this. Remember, we're playing at 95% of club handicap. The uh, young junior group here on the Trilby Tour. And uh, she managed to get it out of the bunker at least. I just want to have a quick look actually. I'm going to move the buggy forward and just see how steep that wall is of that bunker. Yeah, and if you just bring the uh, a little bit where she was buried was close to the front edge of this wall. It is steep and it doesn't help either that it's a. Uh, in buried into the, the rise of the hill here too so not a lot more she could do really you're not going to get this far out needed to be back if she was going to get it even close to the green close to the wall no chance but she played a very good shot just to get herself out of trouble this is now her third shot at the par four first here at Dundonald We've had a, a few comments coming in as well. Daffid says, looks lovely up there. Best of luck and look forward to seeing you all at Springs in July. Well, we look forward to seeing you there as well, Daffid. It is glorious here. Sun, uh, not yet uh, able to break through the clouds, but it will if it's anything like yesterday. And uh, not much of a breeze as we make our way down to the first green here. Or what he made of the action so far. Don't forget, do keep your comments coming in. We can see them. We're live across the Trilby Tour social media channels. And we must say a big thank you to our broadcast partners as well. A big thank you to today's golfer, Women in Golf Magazine, India Golf Weekly, Golf North Magazine. Uh, the rest of you, you know who you are. We are live, of course, across Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and LinkedIn. If you are following the Trilby Tour on social media, do make sure you like, comment, and share as well. We're trying to get this out to as many people as we possibly can. It is the Championship of Ayrshire here live at Dundonald Links. We're down at the first. And we've got...
we've got Eva in front of us here. Her second shot got a wicked bounce off to the left. It was always going to struggle to hold on to the green and uh, the slope off just kicked it away. But she's got a, a fairly good lie here and a good line of sight at the flag. She's fortunate that it didn't go near that bunker. Stop, come back, come back. Don't go, drop down that bottom tier. It has gone down. That's a really unfortunate shot. It's just dropped down to that lower tier on the green, right where Scott Newman is. This is uh, Scott's third shot here, par four. Beautiful, beautiful iron shot from the tee. Split the fairway, really. Did kick on left a little bit, but second shot onto the lower deck. A cool man, keeping a cool head here on the Trilby Tour. Must be quite nerve-wracking, certainly with the cameras around. It just adds an extra bit of pressure, doesn't it, Ash, having their live camera here? It does, yeah, but to be fair, he's started nicely. Um, great, great iron off the first. Nice second shot into the heart of the green. Just got a little tear to come up. You would actually see from your second shot how much the runoff areas are quite penal. Um, I think it was Eva there when Miss Green left, and she's got an almost impossible chip. She did all right. She's got a couple of putts from here and get out of here without having a without having a nightmare. It was a shame, wasn't it? There's no space on the left side, and it got that wicked bounce kick left, and there was no pl space to play with at the back, wasn't there? And it did roll down to that lower tier. Here is Scott now. He's an opportunity, but it's going to be a tricky uphill putt. to uh, come around a little bit more to the right. It's a solid effort though from Scott. Let's get a little bit uh, closer. He's still got what, six feet or so, five, six feet. Eva and Megan in similar positions. This is Eva's fourth. Not bad effort. It's off to the right, short. So probably helped by Scott going first here. And now Megan's had the opportunity to see two players play from a reasonably similar position. the power right again line just a little bit off so here is Scott now this is his four for par overall here be a good way to start we are playing stable food remember it's for a place at the grand final later in the year back here at Dundonald in September Ah, oh, shot. So Scott Newman walks off the first with a four. That's good nerve settler there. He's some player. Here's Megan now. going to mark it, right thing to do, take your time. Excellent, that's it. Eva now here at the first.
Good stuff, Finn it goes. So there we go, uh, group two making their way to the second. Now we'll watch them tee off, but then we're going to stay actually at the first watch. The group behind come through as well. Uh, tee box just over there, Liam. I'm going to move the uh, buggy out. I think Ash is going to move that for us. So uh, I will make my way around with you. So what have you made of the action so far? Everybody, please do comment below. We do want to hear from you. We're walking, of course, with the players at the Trilby Tour 2023. So we'll make our way down and uh, watch Scott get himself teeing off. Comments are coming in, so thank you very much. Do keep them coming in. Uh, we will go through them at some point. So it's nice to hear from you. It's nice to see you as well. We're just going to have a quick look at the uh, second, uh, the teeing off here at Dundonald. It's uh, another par four, 374 yards off the whites. 308 for the ladies here. Scott Newman there walking off. We have a four to stable food competition. Don't forget, there's three divisions this year for the Trilby Tour as well. Division one is uh, for male players with a handicap 14.9 or lower. And then uh, the second division is for men with a handicap 15 up to 24. And then the female uh, section is for lady players with a handicap to a maximum of 28. So what's He's using his trusty long iron again. Certainly worked, didn't it, before, Ash, off the first? It did, yeah, and he made a great par. Um, I think he's just going to try and hit this up the right-hand side. It'll kick in to the middle of the fairway, and I think his strategy is to lay up short of that trap on the left. For the average golfer like myself, it's a nasty place to put that mound of rough right in the middle, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There you go. You've called it. Beautiful. It's got a perfect line of sight now for the flag at two. We'll just watch the ladies tee off and then uh, we'll go up to the top of the hill. And then we're going to turn our attention actually to the group behind as well. We want to talk to as many players as we possibly can today. See as many shots. And if uh, there's anything you particularly want us to capture today, please do comment below. We can see it. Eva with driver as well. Par four second hit. Been a pleasure following this group down the first and now teeing off out the second. Radio. There we go. Right, we're going to come back to the first here. Next group coming through your team, your third team out, your 1040 tea time. Jason Date Chong. Uh, we've got Jim at Skibone and Michael Tracy. And I've got to say, look at them all. All wearing the same shirt as me. We all got the memo, except Ash. <laughs> and here they come. Thank you, of course, to the partners, Glenn Muir. They've uh, decked us all out here. We are looking very dapper indeed. Got the yellow ball in play. 
personal favourite of mine, up it comes. As I said, remember, this is a 95% of club handicap. Jason is off four, Jim's off seven, Michael's off six. Jason plays out of Cam's Hall Estate. Jim from London Lynx and Michael from Sandy Hills. We'll have a chat with uh, a couple of chaps in a minute. We didn't obviously see them tee off, but we can uh, have a quick chat, find out uh, how the nerves are holding up when they come off the first. And look at Caddy here doing a, a wonderful job. cut fairly close centre of the green. It's actually a fairly straight putt here. It's pushed it left and it is going to come round. Has it got the legs? Oh, the line was great. Well read by Caddy, just a little bit short. Perhaps uh, an extra bit of haggis in breakfast this morning might have got that one closer, but the line was good. Again, these caddies are really uh, playing their part, aren't they? Earning their crust today. All three players have managed to avoid the lower tier. Not happy with it. Going left, wasn't going to break. Oh, again, pushing to the right, it's a shame that. From a split second, I thought it was going to hold. Again, Caddy getting down low. It's difficult for us to see where the break is going to be, but... Some great insight from the caddy here. We'll have a chat with him in a minute. Go home. Ah, oh, well read. This is uh, Jason's caddy. We'll have a quick chat with uh, the chaps in a minute. Now, when I next play a round of golf, I want this man on my bag. Uh, you were doing some great reading there for Jason. A, a font of knowledge, I think. Well, I've been here, I've been here seven years now, so hopefully, I, ho ho hopefully I know the greens not too bad. Uh, early start, of course, uh, first hole, but uh, solid for Jason there. I didn't actually yeah, see it tee off. He, he, he had a good drive, but it just caught the bunker on the left, so he was a wee bit unfortunate, but he, he recovered for a good five, I would say. Yeah. You know, so... We'll push on, try and birdie the next hole. So with you on his bag, he's got every chance, hasn't he? Let's uh, have a quick chat with uh, Jason as well. Jason, how are we doing? Yeah, uh, yeah. Now we're off the first. Uh, nerves a little bit settled. Get into yeah. it now, yeah? Oh, definitely. I just wanted to make contact on the first tee. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's it like playing on a trilby tour here today? Oh, it's my first event. Is and it? It's really, really, really good. Oh, that's yeah. what I like. So your smiles, that's what we like. <laughs> At the start, we'll see how I do on the 18th. You've got a, a good man on your bag, of course. Oh, yeah. uh, what's the plan of action here? Are we, are we getting a big stick out going for it or what? Uh, I think we're going to get three wood and try and get it. To, uh, I don't want to be in another bunker. I've already yeah. been in one. Jason, thanks Thank for talking you. to us. Best of luck. Uh, we'll catch up with these chaps in a minute, but we're about to get straight underway here at the second. It is, uh, that was Jason Datron we just heard from plays out of Cam's Hall Estate. Uh, we didn't see them tee off, of course, but uh, we did just hear uh, that he found a bunker at the first. Managed to get himself off, though, for a five at the par four first. Not too bad at all. A pretty solid start first time playing on a trilby tour as well. Very welcome to have you here. And uh, it is Jason who's going to go first. Three wood in hand, as we heard from Ash a little bit. For these players, there is that bunker dead ahead. Could well be in play with driver log. So comments coming in. We'll run through those shortly. We do uh, really appreciate you getting in touch with us. Oh, it's a little bit right. Is it going to clear? I think it might, yeah. I actually think it's a pretty good shot. Just gone straight through and cut through. Uh, there we go, group two. Let's go back to the first. Uh, just catch the next group coming through. Uh, as I said, a number of comments coming through. Chris Ashmore said, loving the coverage so far, guys. I won on the old Truby Tour back in 2019. Uh, great to hear from you. Nathan says, missing the correct spot is the aim of the game today. Catherine Millwood also says, good luck everyone today. Looking forward to playing myself soon at the KP Club. Uh, Catherine, we look forward to seeing you there as well. And Ronnie also goes on to say, play well everyone and good luck. Uh, Played in a couple of Truby Tour events pre-COVID. Looking to uh, making a return next year. How do you do that? Live scoring? Ah, I've let me go. Ash. Live scoring? Live scoring. So here we have next group coming through now as well. Uh, this is the group for Kevin Cairns, John Stott and Graham Wilson. It's just uh, going to stay, drop down to that lower tier, we've seen a, a couple of balls drop there but it's it's safe, it's on the green it's just on the lower deck look at that shot that came in, I wonder who that was that was an absolute beauty wasn't it so it's yes, coming through now, your 10.50 tee time team four, Kevin Kent, John, Scott Graham, Wilson, uh, Kevin and John off seven, Graham off nine Kevin plays out Scooney, John Eldersley and Graham Glasgow Golf Club. Don't forget, do keep your comments coming in. We can see them. We do want to hear from you. Uh, tell us, have you ever played Dundonald Links as well? And uh, we've had a lot of people commenting saying they've played on the Trilby Tour as well. Well, we'd love to see you back. If you do want to find out more about getting involved, or just want to find out more about the Trilby Tour in general, there is a link in the body of this broadcast, wherever you're watching it, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, or LinkedIn. Give it a click. It will take you straight through to the Trilby Tour's website.
again on the bottom tier. It's going to go through that gap up the hill. It's pushing right a little bit long. It's not a bad effort there, though, from there. It's not going to come back. It does slope ever so slightly back down towards an almost valley in the first green here. It's sort of split, isn't it? 78% of the green is on the upper tier. And then you've just got that portion, that corner there, which is where a lot of players are finding themselves having to putt from. Beautiful opening hole here. Does it have the legs? Oh, it's a great putt. Okay, tell him to sink that one. Great effort. Got that one just right. Brilliant stuff. Pushing around to the left, it just needed a bit more on it, then it was too tentative with it. In it goes. Good stuff. We are going to stay here at the first uh, for the next group coming through before we head off for a short break. I uh, just want to chat, quick chat with this uh, gentleman because I'm wondering if you've played Dundonald before because you, you read that to perfection. <laughs> first round yesterday in the process. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't show. Uh, have you had a few nerves uh, going out or you're a calm, yeah. cool, collector kind of car? Well, a wee bit nervous, I just to start with. I, it, it like? was all right until I stood up to my driver and then I was, <laughs> I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> How's it feel playing on the Trilby Tour? It's good. It's good. It's the first time for me, like, first time. Brilliant. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a good experience. Fantastic. I'll let you get to the second. Uh, you're more than welcome. It's great to see you. Thank, Thank you for talking to us as well. Uh, that was Kevin Kenzer. Thank you very much, uh, Kevin. Right, so next group coming down as well. Let's just uh, stick around for this one. First time playing on the Trilby Tour there for Kevin, but uh, having a thoroughly good time. Uh, not experienced around Dundonald's. That was his first time. <laughs> it's only second time down here at the first. But uh, didn't show, didn't it? Class is permanent, as they say. Next group coming through. This is your group five after this uh, group of hold out. We will be going off for a short break. comes the next one through second shot whipping round it's going to come right in front of us actually uh, he should be okay and it's just going to roll back onto the green onto that lower tier it's actually uh, not a bad shot there
right, here they come down now. I'm just trying to see where the, uh, oh, the other players over there on the mound on the left-hand side as you're looking at it on your screen. Of course, the rules of golf come into play. You've got three minutes to find your ball. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Leon. Yeah, they, they have been played. <laughs> the provisional, great. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much for that. So, so provisional was played from the long stuff over there. Uh, looks like we've got a first lost ball here at Dundonald. I wonder if uh, Ash can tell us how many balls they actually take out of the uh, the long stuff each year here at Dundonald. <laughs> Hell of a lot, yeah. Uh, and the rough's probably only about half where it'll end up getting to, so we, we don't do bad on recovering golf balls. Donate them all to local schools and juniors. I do, fantastic. You don't, you don't have like a, a one pound golf ball bin then? <laughs> no, no. The uh, local kids get them and the schools will pass them on for their coaching and junior development. Oh, fantastic stuff. So what have you made of the action so far, Ash? Uh, some good golf. Just seeing this one firing quite close to the pin on one. Um, and then the group who've just teed off the second, a couple of them getting quite uh, aggressive off the tee and taking it over the corner and getting quite well up there. So look like they're setting up for some birdie chances. Well, I was making to a few players, and because it's the one round, of course, it's, it's terrible. For, they're just going for it. You've got to take the risk, haven't you? Got to take the risk, yeah. Um, it's, it's there to be taken, and these guys are looking quite confident. I saw a couple of them getting quite twitchy on the first tee when they got in between the tee markers, but they're, they're handling it well up to now. Yeah, they certainly are. Thank you very much, uh, Ash. Here we are with your next group coming through. So there we go, this is your team five, Martin May, Lara Robertson and Gary McArthur will play off three. Martin's from Cruden Bay, Lara's from Dunnacare Park and Gary's from Sandy Hills. That's a fine looking hat as well, isn't it? The bucket hat is out. No sun as of yet, but we are expecting the sun to burn the clouds off a little bit later. Our patches of blue skies around it is going to get very hot later. So interesting, keeping the flag sticking. Remember during the COVID times, it was a requirement you had to keep the flag sticking, you weren't allowed to touch it. going to catch the slope it's not the line was off length was good putts with the flag stick in as I talked to him about that actually have a quick chat and just uh, find out whether that was um, he was doing that before COVID That was good part. Then that one goes there. Just a quick word if we can. I know it's partnered with a flag stick in. Uh, obviously, we know during COVID it was something you, you had to do. And But were you doing it before or uh, you just decided you like it? I, I would say it was probably after Bryson DeChambeau started it with the technology. I'm a bit of science freak. Um, I like it. I'm, I'm the man behind Biomatch in Scotland. Oh, brilliant. So I'm the agent for that. So I'm the man behind the physicist that the, does Bryson's work. So so that's why it came about. So I kind of follow his suit. If the Scottish Bryson give, right give, here. Gives, gives me something to hit as well. <laughs> 
fantastic. Thanks for talking to us. There you go. I like the science. Uh, right, uh, let's just go down here and get out of the way. Uh, the next group coming through, actually, we are going to head off to a short break, but Paul Myler is in it. We're going to catch up with them during the nearest the pin in a little bit. Uh, so uh, don't go too far. We are going to head off for a short break. I hope you've enjoyed the morning session here live at Dundonald Links. It has been a cracker. Yes, the Trilby Tour 2023 is underway. Uh, so much more action to bring you throughout the course of the day. We've got the nearest to pin challenge, the hole in one hunting. We're going to chat to more players as well, see all the action as it happens and feel those emotions. We're going to see the good shots. We might see one or two bad ones as well. You never know. But that is the beauty of golf. Don't forget, if you do want to find out more about the Trilby Tour, there is a link in the body of this broadcast. Give it a click anytime. Wherever you're watching this broadcast, come back for the next session as well because it's going to be an absolute corker. We're going to do it nearest the pin. I've been your host, Ian Waterhouse. Don't go far. We'll be back live shortly. We're going to go get a nice cup of coffee. See you soon.